Hey, it's Rob with Homes by Rob Denny. In desperate need of a haircut like so many of us out there. Hope you're all staying safe and this will hopefully be over soon. What I want to talk to you about today is the pandemic, of course, has had a huge influence on the stock market or finding basic necessities at the store. But it's also going to have an effect on interest rates, mortgage interest rates with the Fed cutting the prime twice in March. These cuts and these lower interest rates could affect your home value. And the first one's obvious. If you think about refinancing, you could jump in. But if you're concerned about the value of your home, if you're considering selling in the next month or six months or a year, it's a little bit more complicated. So here are a few ideas I want to talk to you about, about how lower interest rates could impact your home's value. Number one, the lower number interest rates will normally bring out many more potential buyers and it could actually bring in some new buyers. For example, with lower rates, somebody who qualified for a million dollar home may qualify for a million one or a million two now. So they'll be looking for a little bit higher priced home. And as you know, when there's more buyers than homes, supply and demand apply and you can expect prices to increase. So we've seen this for a few years now. The inventory has been low probably since 2017 and price has been increased since 2013. Now I'll be doing my monthly market report in a couple of weeks. So I'm anxious to see uh, how things look because I don't think price is going to be affected, but I do think that the inventory is going to be way down. So with fewer homes, uh, if no. people still wanting to move, I think prices are going to continue to rise. And if this pandemic keeps buyers at home and properties linger on the market, well then maybe some price cuts do come in. And that could send uh, the trend of buyer's market and home prices dropping. But honestly, I just don't see that. I really don't. Um, if anything, I think we're going to have less homes for sale and more buyers. The second thing to keep an eye on is the Fed prime cuts affects other things like CDs and money market accounts and things like that. It, when they go down, that means that potential buyers may have less money to put down on a home, which means they will end up qualifying for less of a home. And this could lead to supply being ahead of demand. But my personal opinion is lackluster rates on money markets and CDs and stuff like that are going to actually lead to more people investing in real estate, which means there's going to be more buyers, which will be good for home sellers. I mean, let's be honest. Real estate's been a solid investment for, I mean, it's been growing steadily for eight years. It's a solid long-term investments. And as these other investments become less and less friendly, I believe more and more people will go to real estate. And these extra investors could lead to an increase in home prices and home values. And the third thing, and let's not kid ourselves, no one knows the long-term effects of this craziness of this COVID-19. Um, not knowing could lead to people sitting on the side thinking, well, the Fed's going to make more cuts and I can get an even better deal. So I'm going to stay on the sidelines and wait to wait and see exactly what's going to happen. And this could cause homes to sit longer, of course, and it could possibly uh, lead to cuts in prices if people get into a panic again. And it could lead to a lower price. But again, I just don't think that's going to happen. I'm just throwing some ideas out there, give you some possibilities of things that you should be thinking about. Anyway, that's it. So please, if you like this video, please like it and feel free to share it with a friend. Feel free to comment. If you have any questions regarding real estate, please do not hesitate to call, text, or email me. I'd be happy to do a competitive market analysis for you, comparative market analysis for you, so you know exactly what your home is worth. Uh, no obligation to you, and I appreciate it. Enjoy the sunshine. Take care of yourself. Thank you.